Our chocolate hazelnut shortbread squares offer the best of both worlds, a crumbly cookie base topped with a silky melt-in-your-mouth truffle, and they're studded with hazelnuts. These are delicious anytime and great for gift giving, especially in their tiny bite-sized size. To get started, we're gonna do the shortbread base. A stick of unsalted butter, softened, one third of a cup of light brown sugar, and this is going to add a really nice molasses caramely flavor to the shortbread. Half a teaspoon of salt. This always brings out all those great buttery, sugary flavors. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Want this to be nice and fluffy and smooth. About two minutes on medium speed. I'm gonna turn it down to low and add one cup of all-purpose flour. Just wanna mix until the dough comes together. Okay, that looks great. Now, one final mix by hand, just to get any flour or butter that's on the sides. Make sure it's all incorporated. It's going to go into a nine-inch square pan. This has been buttered, limed with parchment, overhang on both sides, and then buttered again. And I'm using these binder clips to hold the parchment down so they don't flop over onto the base. In it goes. So this is really a shortbread cookie and will give that really nice crumbly base to these truffle bars. So I'm gonna use a cup measure to kind of flatten it out. Now remember, this is going to be the base so it doesn't have to look perfect. All of this will get covered with the truffle layer. So just make sure it's approximately level and then dock it with a fork. Just make holes all over. This will help the steam escape. Okay, it's ready for the oven, 375 degrees until it's beautifully golden brown, about 15 minutes. Now for our truffle filling. I have 2 thirds of a cup of hot heavy cream. I'm pouring over a pound of bittersweet chocolate that I've chopped. Let this melt. While I let this sit, I'm gonna add an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. This is just gonna bring out the flavors. Whisk this together. Okay, I think all the lumps are gone. If you'd like, you can add a little bit of liqueur. This is a hazelnut liqueur from Jellico. Three tablespoons. Very tasty when you combine it with the chocolate. That's looking really glossy. So. In goes half a cup of skinned, chopped hazelnuts. And these were toasted. It's always great to toast the nuts before using them. It just brings out their flavors. We have our baked and cooled crust. It looks beautiful. And this is going to go right on top. This is definitely the cookie for the chocolate lover. Even it out, spread it to the edges. And this will just go right into the refrigerator. You can do this many days ahead. You could even do this a week ahead of time and keep it covered in the refrigerator, but it will set and be firm in about two hours. Let's give it a tap into the refrigerator. Okay, our truffle squares are chilled. They're nice and firm. I pulled it out of the pan using the parchment. These really are a great make-ahead cookie. They will last for a long time. I'm gonna dust the entire top with some cocoa powder. This just gives it a really nice finish and an extra dose of chocolate. Okay, that looks beautiful. So the best way to cut these, because they are so firm and chocolatey, is to use a warm knife. So I have a hot water bath here, and I'm going to wipe off my knife into the water between each cut. Just cut this in half to start, back into the water. These are a little tricky to cut. They're quite firm, so just go slowly. You can really make these as big or as small as you want, but I think they're best bite size. I'll turn these this way. Work your way through, put them right on a platter. Because these cookies are so nice and firm, they're really great for gift giving. You can package them up and they look fantastic on a buffet. These are sure to be the hit for all the chocolate lovers in your life.